yesterday, on a scale of zero to ten, what were you? I was at a seven. Seven. Uh, ten is horrible. You were seven. What are you now? Three. Just because I don't like ice water, but yeah, but it doesn't hurt anymore. It doesn't does it? hurt. <laughs> it's like normal. Right. That is remarkable. Pretty cool, isn't it? That is amazing. Yes. I can drink. <laughs> Does it bother you? No. No. Wow. You drink cold water now? Yeah. <laughs> and with ice. I never drink with ice. <laughs> awesome. How about your hypersensitivity to tea, uh, to cold? Actually, I intentionally ate a fruit bar. Yeah. Not. No problem. No problems. Whereas a week or two ago, if you'd have done that, you had a problem? Yep. When you gave me the ice water to swish around, I had certain sensitivities. They're gone. Gone. Ice water, see what it does. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, what was she? Seven. She was a seven out of ten. I don't have any sensitivity. Like, like I drank iced tea today, hot coffee. It, it doesn't bother me at all. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try again, make sure. Swishing with ice water. It's, it's all good? Yeah. I mean, like I said, maybe a one compared to like the seven before. Like, I'm not having the zinging that I normally have down there. I mean, really swish it around. Do you feel any sensitivity? It's a trip. What do you feel? It's zero, just zero to very, ten. very slight. Well, it's supposed to be a little bit, right? Time for a cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Did you say, what, a one? A zero? It, or a two? Probably a one. I'm not enough to even bother me. That's, excellent. That's remarkable. I like that. Yeah. Wow. For you. Awesome. I told you to do this. <laughs> so is, does everybody have? Most. Wow. It's profound. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's kind of a hybridization of like dentistry and neurology. The trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve. It has about, of all 12 cranial nerves, about 40% of the input to the brain, central nervous system, I should say, is from that fifth trigeminal nerve. So dentistry, that's where we live. There's three branches of it. And these muscles, or excuse me, these nerves, they don't just innervate the teeth. They innervate the muscles. But no dentist ever talks muscle. How many times have you been talked to Never. by a dentist about muscle? Right. The reality is most of them, they're just looking, you know, like I told you earlier, there's a big forest the head and neck. And most dentists concentrate on just the center of the forest. They forget about everything else. Mm -hmm. But what really moves, what breaks teeth? Like you've broken a tooth before. What What do you think happened? Uh, just clenching down too hard. Right. And what let you clench? How did you, what, what affected the clench? Uh, Muscle. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in or anyone walks into a dental office and they have a broken tooth, typically the dentist is like, oh, that old filling weakened your tooth. The filling broke the tooth or the popcorn mm -hmm. did or... No, 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 no. The muscle broke the tooth. It may have, the tooth might have been structurally compromised slightly from the filling. Mm -hmm. But the reality is what really caused the damage was the muscle. And many times it's due to hyperactivity of the muscles because there's an imbalance in there. So mm -hmm. the dentist, he just does his job as a technician because sadly that's what they are when they're just doing their job mm -hmm. and they're not thinking about it. But the dentist talks muscle. Most never know this. So they just put a crown on that broken tooth and then they break the portion off that crown a few years later or they start breaking other teeth and they just think, oh, you're getting old. And no, it's this. Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going with that? I do. Kind of makes sense, mm -hmm. right? Because like I said, when te sensory organs that are teeth talk to brain and say there's an imbalance, brain doesn't like it. So he sends his workers, the muscles down to even it out, whatever it takes. So it's always cranking out the muscle juice. Wow, I had no idea. So now we've relaxed that. Mm -hmm. We've balanced that out. So neurologically, the input going to the brain is the guy up in the control center looking at his timer. He's happy with that. So he's shutting down the efferent output to the muscle, in other words, back to the body. He says, you don't have to work anymore, guys. So they're shutting down. It's like this overworked engine is now <sighs> getting a breather. That makes sense. Kind of cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Zero no, to ten. Zero. Zero? Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. That is amazing because I couldn't stand ice water. An hour ago. Yeah. An hour ago, what was that? You said a. It was a six. Six out of ten. Yeah. Ten's horrible. Yeah. And now it's a. It's zero. Zero. That is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Hypersensitive teeth are a sign of muscular TMD issues. Your muscular TMD issues are fixed. Yeah. Your hypersensitivity's gone away. I just got my enamel. Yeah.